In this video, we will explore one of the most important parts of MicroInvest's warehouse software, the items nomenclature. By using the Edit Items menu, we open a window containing the list of items in our program. The window is divided into three parts. In the left part, we have a tree-like structure of groups and subgroups where we can organize and classify all our items. In the middle part, there is a list of items with their parameters such as code, name, unit of measure, and individual prices. In the right part of the window, functional buttons are located, including OK for confirmation, cancel for canceling, and buttons for creating new, editing, or deleting items. When we want to perform an operation, we first select the group where we will create the corresponding items. Then, when we press the New button, a new window opens, containing the item's code, the name we want to display in the program, as well as the name used for printing, several different barcode numbers from the item's catalog, a description, additional information, the primary unit of measure, additional unit of measure, and transformation coefficient, along with other item parameters. Now let's create a new item. We select the group where the item will be, then press the New button, and can specify the item's name. After we have entered the appropriate name, we can manually enter an individual barcode, in this case, manually entering a barcode, or we can use a barcode scanner to read it. Additionally, we can provide a description of the item or production catalog numbers. The program supports working with multiple barcodes. By opening an additional window, we can generate various predefined barcodes and enter them as a separate list in the respective fields. We can also set parameters for the item. For example, if the item is sold in a package and there are 12 pieces in a package, we can choose the primary unit of measure as item and the additional unit of measure as package. The program allows us to specify a minimum quantity that we would like to have in our facility and the nominal quantity that is best for the warehouse stock in the respective store. Furthermore, if there are different VAT groups in the respective country, we can select a different VAT group for the item. Each item can have up to 10 different prices. Now, let's set one price, then fill in all the fields and only create a discount when the price is for wholesale trade. The additional price groups from 1 to 8 serve when we have different customers and different types of business activities. The last of the tabs is for creating groups. At the moment, we have groups like Coca-Cola or Fanta. But by selecting the main group and pressing the button, we can always create a new group, Mineral Water. Then, a new group will appear in our nomenclature, and when we record the respective item, it will already be in the newly created group. In this way, we create the structure of groups, the respective items inside, and we can manage them at any time. When we need to make changes, we can select the respective item, whether it is currently created or already existing, press the Edit button, and then change the data. All data in the program can be changed at any time, including prices, codes, names, and others. When needed, by clicking the Print Barcode Labels button, we can print a barcode for the respective item. There is also the option to move items from one group to another. For example, if we go to this group, select one or more items using the Shift and Control buttons, we can move them to another group. Then, these items are automatically moved from one group to another. In the old group, there will be only two. Similarly, we can select and return them to the previous group. This is a standard drag and drop technology that works in MicroInvest programs. The program also allows for efficient searching for specific items. If we go to a large group and simply type one letter, for example, H, in this case, the program will automatically position us on the respective item. In the same way, we can exclude the groups, and when we exclude them, we have a linear list of all items in our system. By using the Filter button, we filter only the items that have the letter H. The letter is displayed here, so we can see what we have typed. In the same way, if we delete the respective field, we see the entire nomenclature. Each of the fields can be sorted. It is enough to click on it, and the program sorts by code, name, unit of measure, or price. It's up to us to arrange our items as we like. We can include all items again, so that we can see them divided by groups with their parameters. If we right-click on the table's header, additional fields that we can include appear, such as the barcode field. 
In this case, we can see multiple individual barcodes for each item. The program allows for dynamic customization of all fields, groups, data structures, as well as the names of barcodes and additional parameters, such as prices and unit of measure. This completes the presentation of items. In the next video, we will present the partner's nomenclature.